G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So this week's coming off the back of last week, we're gonna be continuing on with a bit of the steering. I wanna also try and uh, nip out a couple of the doors and just like box them out so they're all complete and I don't have to worry about them again. So yeah, we'll get straight into just double checking our measurements and see if we could start welding some brackets in all ready for that hydraulic cylinder and everything to be bolted up. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I've set my laser up here. I've got that in the center of the boat. I've marked a line and it's, it's throwing this laser beam, this red line. See if I block it, that's a, just the laser. It's coming across all the bits that I intersected before. And this is just to double, double check my measurements. I throw this all the way to that stop. And we're intersecting my black line that I marked before. Go to the other one. And we're intersecting that black line I marked before. Now, I triple check by making another template on the machine. So if we go all the way one way, line that up with the center. And that, that center line is intersecting the cutout that I made. And then it's also transferring through those bolt holes. And it's the same on this side. So I'm pretty happy that everything's in the right spot. Just triple checked it. So the next step will be to take this all apart. We'll clean this up properly. Um, we'll hone it out and get it all nice. We'll just leave that set up there for now. I'll turn it off so I don't waste my batteries. Um, let's get that sitting down nice and plush. And then um, yeah, we'll get that plane across there. So I can double check that height measurement. And once that height measurement, I'll cut it and weld it in. And then this is all done. So let's get this uh, disassembled and I'll uh, clean it up. So now that we've got that assembly out, we're going to just take out a little bit of material in here, um, just to open it up by probably not even 0.1, probably 50 micron we'll take out from the inside there. Uh, last week a, a lady did recommend using a honing stone. That was a great idea. Um, I did go and have a look at them. They're about 80 bucks um, to do a bore up to 100 millimeters. Um, to do a small diameter, they were only about 20 bucks, which would have been fine. But seeing that I had a whole bunch of these linishing discs, I've got you know, but probably about 50 of them in the container there. Um, you might as well just use that, uh, it doesn't cost me anything, I've already got all the materials. Um, and 80 dollars is a lot of um, money to spend on something that doesn't need all the accuracy that that honing stone would have done. But if they weren't so dear, I would have done it because it would have given me a better job. Um, but I don't need the better job, so we'll stick with the linishing thing. But yeah, fantastic idea. Um, just wish they were like, you know, 20 bucks cheaper than, you know, would have went down that path.
that's sitting all nice and flush now. Um, so that'll all fill up full of grease when we when we go to fit it properly. That I'll put that grease nipple on this side, um, but that uh, that'll all fill up full of grease up until that grease uh, the O ring that sits inside here. Um, so that's all done. Let's uh, set up for that plane. All right, I've just made up a couple of these stops. So um, what I'm gonna do is weld these on here. We'll give it a bit of a three mil gap. So it'll be a bit of a gap in between so that I can glue a piece of rubber onto this strip. So it's a nice soft uh, bang. It's not gonna be too loud and it's also gonna stop the paint from chipping off. And then we've got another one which will be welded uh, on this side. So that, that's gonna be the stops and we're all good here. All right, next up on my agenda to finish off this aft cabin area is we've got our stops in, beautiful job done there. Um, I want to put some more reinforcement here. I just don't like stopping it here. Um, you know, I just like to continue getting that uh, support a little bit further in the boat. Um, Cause from here back, we've got like a meter, 1.2 meters and with no support in the center here. Uh, I know we've got a lot of weld around here that's going to give us structural support and all that. Um, but what I'm thinking is I want to just transfer some of that uh, energy down down more to the center of the boat there. So we're going to look at cutting a piece of shape into the hull there. Um, probably welding it to this flange and back up to this string here. Um, so do that on both sides and I think we'll be done.
All right, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So we welded in some cross braces either side. We got our stops in. And I even got a bit carried away and I welded another brace in under here. Just to give that uh, rudder a little bit of lateral support um, back and forth there. So I'm happy with that. I've also I put welds on the sides there so that this brace is actually welded to that flange as well as the bottom deck. This stiffens everything up a whole bunch more. So I think I'm done with this, so there's nothing more to do. Um, so I'm gonna go on now with welding up the other door frames. I've got this uh, aft head door frame to go, and I need to weld up one in the forward head. Um, so I'm gonna get onto them. I've got this uh, door frame just about finished. We'll get on with that another time. I've got to put a bit of an infill piece in here because uh, this door is slightly lower and this will flex a little bit. So we've got to strengthen it up by filling up this piece. It's not going to be hard. Uh, we'll get to that at a later date. I did stuff my weld up here. I, um, I forgot to turn the gas bottle on. So I was just getting splattering everywhere and so I had to put another bead over the top, but other than that, the welds are all pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I need to put a piece up in the top here so I can uh, yeah, strengthen this top piece up. The rest are nice and solid. But while I've got the welder set up right here, I've got this uh, rust repair piece that I did a while ago. Uh, this has been welded from the outside only. I need to put a, a bead of weld around the inside. So I'm going to clean all the rust up with my grinder and we'll weld this up while we have this set up. Might as well do it now. Well, that didn't go so well. Um, the welder struggled with this for some reason. Uh, it turns out that I ended up having to rebuild my whole welder. Uh, well, not rebuild the whole welder, but I had to put in new um, new guides, uh, new shrouds, everything. Um, so I don't know if we can see, but these little um, shrouds, are these, these are the little flutes and the guide. I had to put a new one in them. I uh, had to put a new shroud on. We got one really messy weld going on there, but it is all done. It just looks really bad. I did give it a bit of a grind. I was coughing and splattering all over the place. Um, yeah, so not, not the most successful weld. Um, I may have to do a diapenetrant test on it and uh, see if there's any porosity. Um, but it didn't, like, after you grind it, it, all the weld is there. It's just, it was just a nightmare to um, sort of put on. So, yeah, 
uh, got it done, but uh, yeah, it's getting dark now. I'm gonna have to clean up in the dark. Well, I am gonna have to say goodbye to everyone in the dark today. Uh, that well got the best of me. It took me about an hour to complete that one. Um, but we did get some good work done on that steering. I'm really happy that's all complete. So we're just gonna wait till the steering comes, the high drive, uh, hydraulic cylinder, just bolt that straight on, and then uh, we'll end up putting some stuff up in the steering. So we've got a chain drive going down to the hydraulic motor, but that's not gonna be for a while. Um, yeah, we've got all the doors done. That's really nice. Uh, that was three doors done that, this week. Uh, they're all finished off, uh, so that's really nice. And then, um, yeah, we got to, uh, yeah, finish off that little square, which got the best of me this week. So next week, I'm gonna try and do some more of the floor. Um, if I get all the floor complete, uh, we'll get all the boards down, uh, makes, makes it easier to walk around. And eventually I'll get all those windows done, but we'll see what we get done. So yeah, stay tuned next week. I've got the birds screaming at me, the seagulls, and the dolphins are gonna swim past soon because they come at this time of night. And uh, yeah, stay tuned next week. Don't forget to leave a comment and uh, yeah, let us know how you, what you think. Thanks guys.